Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hey, today I'm kind of swaying away from my uh, monthly segment of cafeteria menu. Today I'm going to do something very quick, very easy. As always, my recipes are and awesome. I know we all love barbecue ribs. And who doesn't like, especially down here in the South, Texas especially, we love our spare ribs. So today I'm doing some old school baby back, not baby back, old school pork spare ribs in the oven. Takes about an hour and a half to cook. And you'll have the most flavorful, sticky, caramelized barbecue ribs you ever tasted. Okay, what I'm going to do, I have a one, uh, one flab of spare ribs right here. I ain't spare, I like to have a little fat on mine, a little meat. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it upside down here. I'm going to put Worcestershire sauce on the back. And sometimes I use a little liquid smoke. Rubbing that, uh, I'm going to rub that uh, Worcestershire sauce in there. And I'm going to season it with my seasonings I always use. A little cavender. A little garlic powder. I mean garlic, granulated garlic, I'm sorry. You can use whatever seasoning you want, but the key about this, don't use too much seasoning. I'm gonna stress this again. Meat has its own natural flavor. You just wanna enhance the meat. You don't wanna overpower with five, 10, 15 different spices. You're overpowering your food. All they're gonna taste is the spices, and they're not gonna taste the natural, delicious flavor of the meat. Every meat has its natural flavor. You just wanna enhance it and bring it out. So I'm gonna use my I got my shake here. This one I'm using the thick meat one because I want a real thick rub on this. So I'm using the thick meat because it's a thicker blend. And like I said, you go to UncleSteveShake.com and in the instruction box put uh, put uh, Old School Soul Food and you'll get my label on it. So I'm going to pack this on here because I want that good crust. You know, when you got barbecue, you gotta have a crust on there. I'll flip it over and do the other side. The same process. Worcestershire on here. And the reason I use Worcestershire and liquid smoke, it helps the rub stick. That's the reason I'm using it, and it gives flavor. You know, I'm always adding flavor to my stuff. Y'all know that. Cavenders. Granulated garlic. Y'all gonna be amazing how easy this recipe is, y'all. Hold on here. Got my seasoning on the floor. And then we're going to use a thick meat. And make sure you want a good coating of this on there. That's the key. You want a good coating of this rub on here. Good coating. And don't worry. This is not going to make it over. Like, oh, that's going to be too salty. No. The thick meat is not. It's designed to do this. And I'm going to push this on here. She's all rubbed on there. Packed on there. Okay, now... What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes uncovered. 30 to 45 minutes uncovered in the oven. So what I want to do, I want to draw all this water out of this meat. All the water, I want to draw it out of here. Plus, I want to get a good crust on the, on the, uh, uh, on the ribs. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you the next process. So we're going to put it in the oven. Number 350 degrees, not 300, 400, 450 degrees uncovered. 30 to 45 minutes. 30 minutes, I'm going to check it. 45 minutes, I'll probably take it out after I check it. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back here for a second. Hey, while I'm waiting on my ribs to get done, I'm going to come in here and show y'all a little thing that I do. I got to re-season my blackened skillets. I do this maybe... A couple of times a year. What I've done, I took some oil. I got oil here. If y'all can see. 
and I put oil in my pan here, put a little bit more. And what I do, I put oil in there, and I take a paper towel, and I rub the oil into the pan all the way around, do this in the same way. And I'm gonna let this get hot for like 30 minutes. I'm gonna let this sit on this stove and get as hot as it can and let all that oil go into the grooves of my blacking, of my, uh, of my, people been asking how I season my pan. This is how I do them. I keep two, and I keep these in the oven all the time. That's how I store my, my, uh, uh cast iron skillets. And I have another one here that y'all see me use. I'm gonna do it the same way here in a few minutes. I'm gonna put all into the grooves of this, and I'm gonna put it also on here and get it hot. So I just wanna let y'all know how I do my, uh, how I season them. They're gonna get really, really hot here. I'm gonna let them get stay on here for like 30, sometimes 45 minutes, and just let it get hot as it can. All that all of, draw all that moisture out of them, number one, because I do wipe it out with a damp towel when I, it depends on something happening to sometimes stick. That's when I reseed them. Sometimes things kind of start sticking more than usual. Then I just reseason them all over again. So I probably won't have to reseason after I use them for about maybe six, eight months. I do this almost two times a year. So I just want to share that with y'all. Some people have a cast iron skillet. They stick on you. They should not stick. I can actually do an egg over easy in these things after I season them. They will not stick. So. I just want to let y'all know that. So, anyway, we'll be back when the reels is ready to come out, and we'll go to the next process. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, it's back. It's been about 35 minutes here. Okay, now this is what you want. Now, see this rib here? See how the uh, seasoning has set up on that? The rub, that's what I want. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna take a thick, I'm happy to use Sweet Baby Ray's, but the thickest barbecue sauce you can get and put on top of here. Now this is the first step of the barbecue sauce. We're gonna do this twice. I'm gonna show you later. What you're gonna do, you're gonna gently rub it on here. You don't wanna rub it too bad, much, because you don't wanna mess up the rub that's on there. Be easy with it your brush if you don't have a brush I, I really encourage you to invest in a brush cost a couple of bucks if you do a lot of cooking or whatever you just want to brush that sauce on there there you go and like I said I do a lot of barbecuing on the pit of course y'all know that but sometimes you just don't want to be outside in elements in the heat, if it's raining or whatever, you want some real, it's how you want to do it. Okay, now, now what I'm going to do, I turn the oven down to 350 degrees, and we're, now we're going to wrap this up and completely seal it. So these reels aren't done. Now we want to cook them for another 35 minutes. We're going to come back after 35 minutes. We'll put a little bit more sauce on them and caramelize it, get a nice caramelization on the reel with the sauce. So we're gonna put these back in the oven, 35 more minutes, 350 degrees, and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, it's been about 35 minutes here. Let's see what we got here. Always be careful when you open this up. A little steam gonna come out of it. Out of here. Look how pretty these are. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Just stick a knife in there. They are definitely tender. Now, I told you it's gonna be one more phase of the barbecue sauce. So we're gonna put a little bit more. We're gonna turn this oven up to 400 again. There's three stages, and then, like I say, this whole thing don't take about an hour and a half to do. Put a bit more sauce on there. And this time, we're going to caramelize this sauce. Get a nice little glaze on it. 
Nice little caramelization on there. See, we got the seasoning still on there, the rub. Kind of dabble it on there and there. Make sure the sauce go all the way around. Now, what we're going to do, put it in the oven for exactly seven minutes, y'all. I got this down time perfectly. This whole process takes an hour and a half. Seven minutes, uncovered. But what I want to do, I want to take these ribs and get a nice sticky caramelization on the ribs at the top. You can skip this process if you want to. If you don't like a lot of sauce, if you don't like that stickiness caramelization, you can skip it. The ribs are done. So we're going to put this in the oven. Seven minutes. We'll be back. We'll have some awesome ribs. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back. It's been exactly seven minutes. And this is what you get, y'all. See that? Nice. So what I'm going to do, put this right here. Get my platter here. I'm going to take these ribs here. Do this very carefully. Now, these are definitely... Because they take falling off the bone tender, y'all. And come here. Get here and put it here on my platter. There we go. Nice. See those ribs? That's what you want. That's what you'll come out with. If you do it exactly like I said, take an hour and a half, and you can have real just like this, an hour and a half. See this? Hour and a half. Old school oven bait barbecue real. Now I'm gonna let these cool slightly because I cannot handle them right now, cutting them or whatever. I'm gonna let them cool, you see how hot they are. And we'll be right back here in about, uh, I'll give it about 10, 10 minutes or so. And we'll come back here and we'll uh, try one out. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, we're going to try these ribs out here. I'm going to commit a cardinal sin. I'm going to cut on the plate instead of the cutting board. I don't need to do that. But just for YouTube purposes, got to get through this bone here. All right, there we go. Let me get another piece here. Alrighty, take one piece out of here, put it over here on the, mm. these are, like I say y'all, finger licking good, oh my god, I don't know if I eat it with a fork, first I need to show y'all, see how the bone comes out of there, clean, that's what you want, when you cook a, when you cook a rib, you want the bone to be clean. See that? You don't want the bone, you don't want the meat falling off the bone. You want to be able to pick it up. I want sometimes people on ribs, they think the bone should be falling out. No, you should be able to pick the rib up and easily eat the meat off the rib. It's like this. Don't turn them. Mm. Then I got my. I got my old school barbecue sauce too. That you. I might actually be do a recipe for that. I'm gonna eat these with a fork, y'all. Be fancy. Mm, mm, mm. Oh wow. <clears throat> and thing here about these, we still have the the flavor on the rib. You got tender that is, y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna cut through that. Mm. See how juicy it is? Mm. That's, that's so juicy, y'all. I'm eating with a fork because <laughs> I don't get my fingers there. If I wasn't on camera, you know I'd pick it up and eat like a you're supposed to. Mm. 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 I promise y'all, 
you sell this to your family, friends, co-workers, whatever, strangers, neighbors, put this on the plate like this, put it on the table, I promise you, it will be none left. I guarantee you. Try this recipe and you will be emailing me, texting me, sending me messages how awesome this is here. And you, nobody knows it only took you an hour and a half to make delicious, juicy, flavorful, moist asparagus. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and also my video on uh, seasoning my cast down skin. But like I always say, please follow my other social media account, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Please share, subscribe, and like this video. I don't say that enough. A lot of people watch my videos, but they're not subscribed. I can look at the analytics of it. Please subscribe. You might not like this video. It might be some other video I have that you like. Please share my video. Please leave comments. And please hit that thumbs up. I really like that. That really shows a lot. And when you leave comments. So anyway... I'm going to sign off this video. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.